Hello, my name is Seppi, and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, April 4th, 2018. Over there are four creepers. Luckily, they are on the other side of the river, so that's good. But yeah, this perfectly suits the theme of this episode as we have April 4th and over there are four creepers, so four, four and four. One has despawned, oh, that's good, so um, yeah, hi cow, how are you? Over there is an enderman, there are some horses, some pigs, we have, uh, oh, this is another cow, we have some squids, so it's a broad variety of different um, animals and nasty angry guys, so yeah, that's, that's cool, that's really a healthy ecosystem. We are, we are on an expedition, I know, I'm repeating myself, but yeah, we have been quite unlucky with the, with the generation of uh, some a new terrain because we are on an expedition with the goal to find a mesa biome, a mesa biome where we can, over oh, well, there's even a skeleton, that's nice, I like to surprise that, wow, uh, this skeleton, ha, ah, taste my, my diamond sword because I like to get uh, some, um, Bones, no, not bones. Uh, arrows, arrows. That's that's what skeletons uh, what skeletons drop. Well, they also drop bones, but um, yeah, I was more after the arrows. And so we continue on towards east, in the hope that we finally can find a such a mesa biome in this episode. This this would be awesome. This would be really, really, really great. Some uh, chickens, and um, yeah, Easter. We have survived Easter. I hope you had a great Easter time. You were able to celebrate it with your family, with your friends, with your significant other, with whoever was around you, and that, that it was just just a great time. For me, it really started with with some great news, and I of course have to share those great news. As you know, my best friend, she was pregnant, and well, she has given birth to her son. On Friday, March 30th, is the birthday of her son, so welcome, welcome to our little world, welcome to the pale blue dot. I hope your, your life will be a whole adventure, be curious, be, be happy, have the sun in your heart and yeah, just, just, just live your adventure. I, I wish all the best to you. And um, yeah, I just, just wanted to share this, this great moment and let everyone basically know that, wow, I'm, I'm super excited about this. So yeah, welcome, welcome to our little world. And um, so Easter, Easter was more or less like I uh, predicted, like I predicted in the Easter episode. We haven't done so much on a Friday. I well, well, we did we did some some cool things. We did an, a small trip to the to the surrounding to the surroundings of uh, Berlin. So but this was nice. This was really cool. I mean, I like doing those ow, those things. Um, especially Friday was, was a beautiful day. We have per we had perfect weather. The sun was shining. It it wasn't too warm. It it was really perfect. It was just spot on. So this this was cool. And. Um, yeah, later that day we, as we've been back home, we haven't done so much else. So, what was really cool? What was was a nice day. Saturday, I heard about the the great thing that the my my best friend's son was born. So, hooray! I, I was super happy that day, and um, tried to to find out more about. If, if he's doing well and if everything is fine and so and I was super happy as I saw the first photos of him so that that, that was really a, a great day on uh, Saturday evening we also did the Easter bonfire Easter bonfire thing was was pretty cool as always I, I really enjoy it sitting around the fire and um, it's it's really perfect doing this in the in the springtime, in the early springtime, because um, yeah, we 
we have this this fireplace and it's also nice doing some some fire in the in the summer and sitting outdoors around it uh, during the summertime but personally as you know I, I prefer the colder temperatures and fire and hot warm air during the summer isn't so good so it was really nice that and it wasn't so warm that day and well, it was just i think I, I don't know what what temperatures do we had three centigrade two centigrade or so so it was even cooler than uh, christmas i guess which which is crazy i mean easter is the um the, the spring event the the big spring event and the temperatures colder than during the Right, what's going on here? All right, we had we had a small delay with our with our um, uh, fish digestion. <laughs> so um, yeah, man, that's crazy. We we had, had colder temperatures, and it was especially crazy on um, Sunday, Easter Sunday. It was snowing, right? <laughs> we had snow. Well, it was a little bit snowy rain or so. The the snow wasn't um, was melting away right away, but the northeastern part of Germany was super unlucky as it was a little bit colder there and um, new village interesting shape of it. are those two buildings or is this one large building no I think those are two buildings all right I thought there would have been a super cool building but guess not yes and not um, yeah they they were super unlucky because there the snow remained and um, I think they said they had about 20 to 30 centimeters of new snow that day so um yeah i think this caused no no don't don't drop into the the well figure man nice nice shepherd interesting interesting what are you shepherd pretty cool who are you cartographer nice very nice um yeah that that's crazy that's crazy. That's that's totally crazy. And um, yeah, so the the Sunday was rainy, snowy, but it was good because um, yeah, it was a day of of enough food of, of having a feast basically. So I was in charge of preparing the meal. It, it's really a thing I enjoy. I mean, cooking those those more advanced meals. So it's, it's a nice and fun activity. So I really enjoy it. And was good, was was super good. Was also very delicious and was not so so problematic to just eat for a very long time. Um because yeah, it, it was just rainy outdoors. But um yeah, this this was Easter Easter Sunday. Of course, got some uh, delicious sweets and so on. All the things you get on, on Easter, which is also nice. However, I haven't touched it so far. I I still had have to eat my, my first chocolate Easter egg or so, which which is a little bit interesting, but on the other hand, um yeah, I mean you, you had so much food during this time, so there was not the the demand for for eating sweets right away, but but I think they will vanish soon or so. We we will see about that, how quickly they will uh, vanish. And um yeah, and the next day, Easter Monday was similar to Easter Sunday, basically. So a lot of food. The sun was shining. This was very interesting. It, ooh, another village. Um, in the morning, sun was shining, and we had one centigrade or so. <laughs> so it was like winter time, and it, well, for for me, it it was perfect. I did a quick stroll to to enjoy a little bit the weather. Initially, I wanted to go alone, just listening to some some music. But then my dad had some time, and he wanted to join me. So that, that was cool. So we we did a quick trip. We went to the um, cemetery and visited the grave of my grandparents. Also nice. A thing I tried, I tried as I've been, as I stayed at my parents the last time, or was it even during the Christmas time? I, I can't really remember. I think it was during the, no, 
What was it? No, no, I think yes, yes, I, it was during my my last holiday, so the start of March. There, I tried it again, mm -hmm. and I just haven't found the grave, which which sounds a little bit like your 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 badge. You're not caring about your grandparents, but uh, well, it, it it just happened. So we we got there and was. Yeah, we we got there, and it's it's all the time nice thinking thinking back at them and remembering them. I mean, of course, I also remember them without visiting their grave. I mean, that's that's just a place. It's it's nothing that really connects me to them or so. They are they are the memories and other things. Most mostly memories that that keep them alive. But uh, yeah, th this was pretty cool, especially as the sun was shining and. Was was really a, a nice stroll. After after lunch, I even sat a little bit outdoors in the sun, which which is a thing I rarely do, because normally it's just warm. I mean, when when I sit sit in the sun and it's summertime or so, it's already so warm outdoors that the sun is way way too much, way too warm. And um, yeah, so I I usually don't do it, but. This time it was just around five to seven centigrade or so, and that's that's perfect for sitting in the sun, at least for my feeling. And so this was cool. I, I really enjoyed it. And uh, speaking of the temperatures, man, that's crazy. As I said on uh, Monday, we had uh, we ooh skeleton. Ow. Uh, where's my where's my sport? Ow. Hey you. Ow. Have I? All right. Ah, arrows. Thank you. Um, which direction do I need to travel? I need to travel that way. All right. Um, yes. Monday started with one centigrade, and I think the highest temperature was seven or so. Tuesday. So yesterday, we had temperatures of twenty centigrade. What? Why? This was this was so crazy. Luckily, I had um, packed some shorts, so uh, because I, I thought, okay, I just bring some shorts. Maybe I can use them. But I, I haven't anticipated that I would really need them. But yeah, this, this was good. Oh man, this is and today is also that warm. So we had a change in the temperature of more than uh, fifteen centigrade or so. Who? This, this is really. I, I really feel overheated a little bit right now, and um, yeah, that's that's just crazy. I mean, from winter to to summer, within one day, more or less. So that's that's also a thing to think about. But yeah, this this is what has happened, and um, crazy. That's just crazy. Yesterday I also drove back to my town, to, to, the, to my workplace basically, because tomorrow I have to go back to work. Oh man. And um, yeah, of course I could have, because it's, it's the Easter week, week, I could have taken the days off until next week. But the problem is next week is the uh, first lecture week and um, well, I haven't done so much <laughs> for the start of the new lecture period, so I guess I I really need the time and um, yeah. So so I drove back and this this is a little bit the thing where I'm ooh this this looks interesting where I'm not completely happy about because I I have no problem getting back late normally, but currently I'm. I don't know. I'm as you know. I'm a little bit frustrated. I'm a little bit too frustrated, or so. So I need more more time to relax, or so. And I thought, okay, it's better to just drive over here on um, on Tuesday than on. That's 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 a cool and distinct shape. Neat. I like it. It's almost as if. Here was a huge river or so flowing between those two mountains or so. That's neat. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And um, yeah, driving back home and just just having today 
completely for myself. I, I thought this this would be better. On the other hand, I was a little bit of course I was sad leaving my parents again. It's also well, it's not problematic. It's it's nice, but when they ask, do you really want to leave tomorrow already? Then yeah, no, I don't want to. I mean, why why are you making it so hard for me to leave? <laughs> I, I'm, I mean, I know they, they really enjoy it when I'm around and I enjoy it when I'm there, but uh, that, that's that's all the time a huge problem. But oh yeah, now, now I'm over here and I try to make the best out of it. I try to just relax, enjoy. I have, I, I think what, what, I, what I also should do is to to write a little bit on my paper because I haven't done much progress during the, uh, the uh, Easter break. I hoped I would do it, but well, since we are mostly holidays and I try to spend some quality time with my parents, I haven't had the opportunity to to work on my papers, and so yeah, I guess guess maybe I will do it today. I also ordered a new cell phone because um, yeah, the 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 current one is basically just a working cell phone. I, I got it from. From a job, not my university job, a different job. I did it as um, next, well, as a, as a second job. Well, not really as a second job, but yeah, I, I got it from there. But I decided, okay, I'm, I need to, I need to leave this. I, I need to to quit because um, yeah, recently I spent, I spent, I don't know, ten hours a day at university or so, and. When I then have finally weekend, I'm totally exhausted. I'm totally, ooh, this looks interesting. I'm super tired and um, I can't do it. I, I can't continue like this uh, because then I, I need to work on the, the weekend. And yeah, so, so I decided, okay, um, maybe it's a time to say, well, okay, let's, let's, let's scale this back. Let's scale this down a bit. It looks almost a little like, like a nice, Secret, like a nice Caribbean secret or so. That's that's cool. But um, yeah, so so I have to return the the cell phone I had from work. So now I ordered a new one. I got a. I decided to go for a shiny Samsung S8. It it seems to be decent. We have those those cell phones in the media lab from the school pedagogy. We use this for our AR development and. Get handed out to the students and it seems to be it's, it's really a nice cell phone so I decided okay we we tested it we found out they they are doing a good job so I should get it yeah um, I'd ordered it it should have arrived on Saturday unfortunately it just arrived yesterday just before I uh, left Berlin so th this was good that it arrived I mean ooh, nice nice mountain and it was good that it arrived otherwise I would have had to stay there for another day or so wouldn't have been so much of a problem, but yeah, I was happy that it arrived. Now I have to configure, install, get it ready, do do something with it. I'm I'm not quite sure what what exactly. Uh, cell phones are still a little bit a uh, weird thing for me, but yeah, I think I, I think I will find out what what to do. So that's that's the thing I like to do the next days. Also, I like to continue practicing a little bit the the guitar. I I slowly start to get the the, the the grips uh, the 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 finger positions but that that's really the, the biggest challenge for me right now to change to transition between certain finger positions i mean that that's i don't know it's it's super for me for me it's it's difficult to to get this this muscle memory the the finger memory or however you want to call it yeah, I think with, with some constant practice, I will get there, and I'm I'm already excited about them, or I'm already looking forward to the moment when, when I get there, when I when I can do this. So this, this will be also cool, I guess. And um, yeah, so that's that's what what has happened. I got a good question from uh, Matthew. Of course, I like to discuss it, but I think when I look at the the time of this this episode, it 
it's maybe better to keep this question for the next episode when I don't have something to talk about, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I have something to talk about, maybe I don't. We, we will see about this. But, um, yeah. Ooh. I think I should leave the boat somewhere around here before I get get washed into this into this cave thing. Um, yeah, was there anything else? Was well, there something else I wanted to talk about? Um, No, not, not really. There is, is there anything I, um, well, I'm speaking about YouTube and content and content creation and so on. I, I, I slowly get back some, some motivation, some creativity to do more creative things. I mean, like uh, the Salty Dog server where I did builds and did some editing and so where basically I did advanced stuff and where it takes a little bit longer to get an episode out, but the episodes are then a little bit more more creative or, or so they a little bit more playful. I don't know how, how to describe them at best, but um, yeah, I slowly get get some motivation to do this. I'm not quite sure if I will really do this because um, yeah, still, still, dang it. still the, the, the same problem with YouTube and their super bad behavior towards content creators and what they have done. But um, yeah, this, this might be something you can look forward to. However, before I do this, I finally like to finish the, ooh, this is a, ooh. Ah, uh, hi. This this is nice, but uh, it's also dangerous. So um, I like to get to this to this mountain thing. Hope I can circumvent the ravine. No, it does not look like that. I can. Hope I can somehow avoid the ravine. Would be nice. Um, but yeah, sleeping. Ow. Sleeping on top of the mountain would be nice. Would be a good spot to end of this episode. Um, I finally like to... What is going on with this ravine? Oh, and down there's a mineshaft. Down there's a mineshaft. Uh, maybe... Hmm, that's of course dangerous, but maybe we can do this. Maybe in the next episode we can... We can explore this, this mineshaft down there and grab some some first rails. Could be a good start, but I really like to... Oh, creeper. Ah, creeper! <laughs> oh dear. Uh, hi. How are you? Go away, please. Uh, Ali, yep. Ooh. Yeah, hi. Ooh, what was going on there? Like with the simulation. Uh, I guess, guess I need to. Uh, I should stay here. Yeah, let's 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 set up shop here and get the torches out. I finally have to finish the the Iceland video. This is still a thing on my to do list. I I really need to to get it done. Oh man, this takes way too long. This takes way too long. But I haven't had the time. I haven't had the really the the time, the motivation, the power, the energy to do it because all the time on the weekend I'm I was doing other things as I said with the with the second job that kept me busy on the other week on the weekends and yeah I, I really like to finish this this Iceland video. I, I, ho I hope I can do this work a little bit on it next weekend or so. We will see about this. But yeah after after this Iceland video I will finally um well, I, I will consider doing some some cool stuff on YouTube again, maybe, hopefully. But um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this very episode of the Coffee Break and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Abby. See you.
Thank you.